How you doing, Lupe Fiasco? This I'm good, I'm good. All right, Kim Wu, Metro Proponent, here with Lupe Fiasco, the one and only. Got a few questions for you. Um, we can start with the album. You want to describe lasers in three words. I need three adjectives. How would um, good and good and great. <laughs> good, good and great, all right. Is anybody on the album with you? Um, I work with Trey Songz, I work with John Legend, I work with the Neptunes, okay. uh, I work with my, my man on the soundtrack. Uh, you know, work with, work with a, a, few, a, few, a few a few newer guys. One thing I always like to do is I like to bring get new people, bring new people up, and less, less developed kind of people into the atmosphere and kind of get them a, 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 a jump start, whether it be from a production standpoint or somebody saying hook or something like that. So, Sounds good. Do you know, are you familiar with any Charlotte artists? Um, I don't know because every, I don't know. But sometimes I'm like, Man, I ain't never heard a dude name. Like, oh, that's such and such. You got such and such. I'm like, oh. So I don't know. Not, All right, well, I'm going to need you to check for Don James, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> All right. Um, can you tell me what your favorite motto is? My favorite motto? Yeah, like something, a slogan or something you live by. Um, well, the album. The album, the Adelaide's actually stands for love always shines every time. Okay. Remember to smile. I saw that. I read that. That was, um, I like that. So it's, it's, it's that. <laughs> that's my favorite motto at the moment. All right. I know you to be a creative artist with like lyrics with purpose, but how would you describe yourself as an artist? Um, I don't know, balance, you know? I try and bring balance to whatever I do, you know, and it's no different than the music business. You know, as a person, I believe in balance and, and, and tolerance, you know, um, and kind of being able to see both sides of the fence. And it's no different in my music, you know, when I see that there's a, a, a lot of negativity, I try and bring some positive. You know, when, a, when everybody's wearing black, I try and wear white, you know what I'm saying? Can you tell me where fans can keep up with you? Uh, make sure follow me at Twitter, you know, or at Lupe Fiasco. So that's you directly doing it's, it? Well, it's me and, and, and my homie because it's, you know, that's a Too crazy much. thing. <laughs> You gotta remember all type of dates and tell people what to do. I'm gonna need um, you to follow it, Metro Proponent. Okay. <laughs> but but it's, it's me on there. And um, you know, you can hit me on Facebook. Okay. Just go lupefiasco.com. Okay. And then we're gonna go to some of the questions about the edition. Where is the most beautiful place that you've ever traveled to that you would recommend for someone else to go to? Um, and, and why? <laughs> uh, straight beautiful. Oh, yeah. I say Singapore. Singapore? But you, you know, not, not Hawaii. Hawaii? Oh, yeah. oh good old America. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, Hawaii. It just, it's, it has some of, it has like that, 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 you feel like you're in a whole nother country. You feel like you're in a whole nother place, but you're still in America, so you, it's still practical. You know what I'm saying? It's, everything's English, so you still all good, but you still feel like you're in a different place. And it has a lot of beautiful, hidden kind of places. You know, I've been there many times, and I'm, every time I go there, I see something new or go to a new island. You know, it's, it's a good place. What's the place you've never been that you would love to go to? Um, I've never been to Brazil. You know. Oh Lord. <laughs> All right. Um, and then, um, what's your religion? I'm Muslim. Muslim? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I think that's all of my questions. Oh, one last question. If you could give local artists some advice to basically, if they're talented and they really are innately talented, how would you say, or what steps would you give, uh, tell them to take? Um, I don't know, because every everybody's path is different. Um, and some things that I had to face, they may not have to face, and vice versa. Um, but I would just say, no, take advantage of the opportunities that's presented to you, you know, to the fullest. You know, whether it be the, the opportunity to come perform at a bar mitzvah for some kids or if it's the goal, you know what I'm saying, open up for Jay-Z or any any opportunity that you get, make sure you take it and do it to the fullest, you know what I'm saying, because you never know where, where your big break is going to come from, you know what I'm saying, but it definitely don't come while you're sitting at home, you know. Alright, and can you, big shouts out to the Metro Proponent. Oh, yeah, yeah, shout out to the... <laughs> Shout out to the Metro Proponent, you heard. Yeah. We'll be following them on Twitter soon. Yes. As soon as they twit me. Yep. Right. Follow me. It, it, uh, un momento. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got lasers here. Get it in.